Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about all things to do with props or blades, whichever you prefer to call them. I get a lot of questions from people about when should they change out their blades, under what circumstances should you throw away your blades and get a new set. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to cover the circumstances when a blade change should be mandatory and also maybe start a discussion on how long should you fly a set of blades before you replace them, even if there's nothing visibly wrong with them. So if that all sounds like something you're interested in, let's get going. Okay, so when is the best time to change out your blades? Well, unfortunately for most people, it's usually the flight before the one you've just crashed on. Before every flight, you should develop a ritual of checks that you go through. If you're interested, um, a couple of months ago, I produced a video on how to pre-flight your aircraft. You can take a look at that up the top here. There should be a link appearing to it right now. Um, but there are some simple checks. Obviously, check that the props are attached. You can then run your fingers along the surface of them, and you should be able to feel any irregularities in them. If there are little chips or, or cracks starting to appear, um, you'll notice them. Maybe you won't even be able to see them, but certainly by running your finger along the edge of the blade, you'll definitely be able to feel them. But really, there's a, a couple of situations where I would say a blade change is absolutely mandatory. And that is if you have a crash. If you have a crash where the blade comes into contact with something hard, then you should change it out. You might not be able to see any damage, you might not be able to, to really look at it, it might, have a, might have a bit of grass or something on it, but you have no way of really knowing what the damage inside the joint here is, and that's where all the stress is as, as the aircraft's in flight. So if you do hit them on anything, change them out. They're not that expensive. This set of sort of two blades from DJI was about nine pounds or 10 or 11 dollars. Um, one tip I would give everybody is don't order them from the DJI store. Here in the UK, for £10 worth of blades, they wanted £10 postage. Whereas I went on Amazon, I'm an Amazon Prime member, £10 worth of blades, free postage. And it came the next day instead of in three weeks like the DJI store normally does. Um, but other things you'll notice, if you do have small chips on the end of the blades, uh, bits of the blade are missing, uh, you might think, oh, they're structurally sound, I don't need to go and get a new set. But you might notice that the aircraft's vibrating a little bit more than normal. You might notice that in your video. So if you suddenly notice there's a vibration in your video that the gimbal's not able to take care of, check your blades. It might be that a tiny little chip is just causing a slight imbalance and it's vibrating ever so slightly enough to throw the video off. You might also notice extra noise. If the blades are, are not smooth, they're not cutting through the air, and they're causing turbulence, a tiny little nick in your blades can actually cause a lot of noise. So when your aircraft's in the hover, if it doesn't sound right, Bring it back down, check your blades. But the one thing I would say is don't wait for them to fail. Usually people remember to change their blades after the aircraft's already crashed. So I went online and I did a bit of research and I asked an awful lot of people how often they think they should change the blades. And everyone said something from every three months, every six months, every year, to when it crashes. Obviously we don't want to crash our aircraft. So I would say pick a number that works for you. Me personally, I change mine out about every 24 hours of flight time. So I'm coming up on 20 hours on the original set of blades, so I've just ordered a new set. I'm gonna change them out, I'm gonna take the other blades, I'm physically gonna cut them up so that they're not lying around and I think, oh, I could use those blades again. They'll never ever be used again by me or anybody else. That means I know I'm always gonna be flying for the next 20, 24 hours, of flight time. I don't mean change them out every 24 hours, but for the next 20 to 24 hours of flight time, I'll be flying on a known good set of blades. And that brings me on to third party blades. Two different blades, both for the Mavic Pro, both look identical. If you look very closely, the only difference is the end of the blades. One has a white band and one has a gold band. The one with the white band is an official DJI blade. That means it has been tested and designed to work with the Mavic. This is a third party blade. It is an absolute ripoff. It is identical. Um, they've even gone down as far as 
the embossing on the plastic of copying that. When you look at the boxes, they are almost identical. One is the official DJI package, the other is a third party blade. The third party blades were actually about half the price of the DJI blades. That means you get four props for the price of two from DJI. However, do you really want to risk that when you're flying your Mavic? Personally, I would always use the official blades. That way, if you do have a problem with them, you can go back to DJI and say, your official blades that you sold me malfunctioned and my aircraft crashed. I need you to repair it. If you're using third party blades, you have absolutely no comeback on DJI for that. So as I said, I'd like to start a conversation around what is the optimum time to change the blades? As I said, I've settled on 20 to 24 hours. I'm quite comfortable with that. For me, that was about six months worth of flying. Now, some of you who fly a lot more often might want to change them out more. Somebody who flies a lot less, you might want to leave them, leave them a year before you change them out. But find a number that's comfortable for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Well, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know why. Let me know how I can improve these videos and how I can deliver more content to you that you find useful. As always, if you have been, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with another video.